In this video, we're going to cover how to use the harmonics test on the Fluke 435. We start by activating our menu and then selecting harmonics with my arrow keys. Confirm that by hitting the enter button and we prepare the SD card for the test. Most harmonics are going to show up in amperage, so I'll use the F1 button to toggle the amps and generate some harmonics. In this case, we can see that the third is the most prevalent, followed by the fifth and the seventh, indicative of a, of a single phase uh, power supply. If I switch my function on the demo board, we have more fifth now, which is indicative of a three-phase power supply. To see these signals, I can hit the scope button, and I'll toggle over to the scope, and I can switch to amperage, and over to a phase. So I can see phase A, my voltage being the larger sine wave, and my current waveform being the double hump that shows a three-phase power supply. If I switch back to the single phase, what you'll see is a single hump. Let's go back to my harmonic screen. Again, we see the current waveforms, the fifth being the, the third and the fifth being the most prevalent right now. I can switch to meter and see a meter view, there's lots of data in harmonics. The arrow keys will scroll down through this, all the way down to the 51st harmonic, both voltage and current. I can also look at a trend by hitting the F3 button, and this will show a strip chart type recording. Beyond that, one thing to note is that my events counter is always active no matter what test we're using on the Fluke 435. If I hit the events key and come to see normal, you'll see I had a few dips and swells occur during the test. So even during harmonics testing, I see other types of voltage events. And that concludes how we use the harmonics test on the Fluke 435.